What's up everybody? Welcome to the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey and whiskey type related stuff, please consider hitting that subscribe button with a notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Longmorn 16 year single malt scotch whiskey. Longmorn was founded in 1893 by the former manager of the Glendronic Distillery, John Duff with partners Charles Shires and George Thompson. The Longmorn Distillery is located near Elgin in the Speyside region of Scotland and is now currently owned by Bernard Ricard. This Longmorn 16 is a reinterpretation of their previous 16 year old offering using a higher portion of first fill American oak cask alongside whiskey matured in ex sherry cask and European oak cask. Longmorn started distilling spirits in 1894. The Longmorn 16 is a space signed single malt scotch whiskey with a 16 year age statement that is non chill filtered, 48% ABV, 96 proof, with an MSRP of around $90 to $100. Let's check out the bottle for a second. The bottling on this one, guys, is elegant to say the least. Around the bottom of the bottle here, we have a purple leather strap. The cork on this one is synthetic cork with a wood top. Right here on the front of the bottle, there is a locomotive where Longmorn was once a small railway junction. That's why that's on there. There's a 16 year age statement right here also, and it is packaged in this box right here. This box right here, pretty much the same thing. Got the 16 year age statement right there. Opens like this, and there is a magnet in there, so it will close itself, kind of, sort of. But very nice packaging on this. Now let's get into the color, nose, and taste of this whiskey. All right, guys, let's check out the color. The color on this one is a nice golden straw color, maybe. Give a little swirl in the glass here to check out the viscosity. This is a non-chill filtered whiskey. Non-filtration, that's what we want. Very viscous, oily whiskey, as you can see. I hope you're able to see that. Got nice, thick running legs, slow running legs, showing us that it is a nice, viscous and rich whiskey. That's what we want. Nice viscosity on this whiskey. Now let's get into the nose. Right away, I'm catching the, the fruity aspect of the whiskey. Like a, a berries and cream. There is some vanilla caramel in there. A nice like allspice and pepper. And I'm also getting like a soft, subtle oak note. Mainly, I'm getting like a nice berries and cream. Maybe a little peach. Vanilla, caramel, a little bit of pepper. Very nice nose to the whiskey. A nice, soft, subtle oak note. Very well balanced nose. You are getting a little bit of a zest, maybe a citrus zest and some spiciness from a pepper or an allspice. But it's mainly berries and cream and a nice, it's like a peaches and cream almost. Yeah, like a, like a peaches and cream on the nose. Very nice nose to the whiskey. Once again, it's fruity, berries and cream, peaches and cream, a nice little bit of caramel vanilla, a little bit of pepper or an allspice note and a well-rounded oak note on the nose of this whiskey. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Beautiful first sip, very mouth coating, viscous whiskey. In the front of the palate, I got a little bit of a, like a berry fruity note. The finish is still going. Say finish is middle of the row to the long side of things. It's definitely leaning towards, yeah, it's definitely leaning towards the long side of things on the finish, kind of still going. Finishing off in a nice dried fruit, well-rounded and subtle oak note. Very fruity, creamy, well-rounded first sip. Let's go in for another. Cheers. Mm. 
beautiful mouthfeel on the whiskey. Very creamy, velvety texture. Now that my palate has become more acclimated to the whiskey, there's berries and cream on the front of the palate. Mid palate, a little bit of a citrus zest, like a lemon, and a little bit of a pepper or allspice towards the back of the palate. Finishing off in a nice dried fruit, well-rounded and subtle oak note on this whiskey. Not a super complex pour, but definitely very rich and dense pour of whiskey. Very enjoyable. Let's go in for a third sip. Cheers. Once again, front of the palate, it is fruity. Berries and cream, peaches and cream. Mid palate, get a little bit of citrus zest. A little pepper or allspice. And the finish is long. It is long. It's, it's definitely got a long finish. Still going, drying out a little bit with a dried fruit, nice, soft, subtle oak characteristic. Very nice pour. Let's get into my final thoughts. My final thoughts on the Longmorn 16. Guys, this is an outstanding pour of whiskey, without a doubt. Very velvety, creamy mouthfeel, nice long finish. Is it super complex? No, it's not. But the flavors it is offering, your nice berry, creamy berry notes, citrus zest, a little bit of pepper, and a nice well-rounded and soft and subtle oak note with some dried fruits on the finish. This is just a great, great pour of whiskey. 16 year age stated at a 90 to $100 MSRP. Very, very nice whiskey. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. I thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys, cheers.